So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Now what you see here in the background, uh, the, this is some raspberry jam, okay? So I put a small amount of this uh, raspberry jam under the microscope simply to see how it looks like. And what I found are those long, strange, worm-like structures here. And for a few seconds, I was a little bit worried. I said, what, what in the world? Why are the nematode worms inside my jam? But then only for three seconds, I had some doubts. Uh, but then it says, no, this, this, these cannot be worms. Uh, there are way too many of them. They might have a little bit the similar uh, size of those worms. But no, these cannot be worms. And they're not moving either. But maybe they were just killed during the boiling process of, of, of making the jam. But still, no, this, these cannot be worms. So um, I wanted to find out what they are. Actually, they are quite interesting uh, structures. And, and uh, in order to find out what they are, I decided to, to put a, a raspberry directly under the microscope. So I still had some frozen raspberries inside my freezer. I took one of them out and uh, put a small piece on a microscope slide with a cover glass on top. I did not even bother to add any water. I simply wanted to do a quick check um, how it looks like under the microscope and whether I'm able to see the same strange worm-like structures. And uh, yeah, indeed, um, I was able Able, uh, to, to find them here. Um, so that is uh, the raspberry directly under the microscope, those round uh, bubbles that you see, well, these are just air bubbles, but there are many of those, uh, many of those uh, long worm-like structures in here. And uh, what are they? Well, obviously they are not worms, luckily not, um, but there's a so-called trichomes, and, and trichomes are plant hair, and a raspberry has a lot of them. Okay, so these are simply a normal part of a, of a raspberry. Um, many other plants also have them, but especially raspberries. So the question is now, why? What's going on here? Why do raspberries have those here? And as a matter of fact, it's it's quite interesting because those uh, trichomes, and here you see them actually on the surface um, of the raspberry as well, those trichomes actually have multiple functions in, inside a raspberry. And one of the important functions is, is, is protection against insects. Um, raspberries, as we all might know, have a very thin uh, and delicate skin. Uh, so raspberries are very attractive fruits for, for insects because insects simply might puncture the fruit um, to suck uh, the, the, the raspberry juice. Uh, and this, of course, will um, harm the raspberry. And uh, if you start to introduce some, fun, some fungi, then the raspberry might become moldy. And uh, one way of protecting itself from those insect spites is this, because, is this by growing this fuzzy layer of, of trichomes on, on the surface of the raspberry. Because raspberries, don't forget, uh, they contain seeds, um, and uh, those seeds should be eaten by animals, like, for example, birds or even humans or, or I don't know, um, bears, <laughs> whatever, whoever eats raspberries. Um, and this is the way how the seeds are being scattered. But insects, uh, they, they're way smaller than those raspberries, then they're not able to, to spread, to disperse the seeds. So um, insects should should actually not not uh, bite those raspberries and uh, th th this uh, layer of hair, those trichomes, they actually protect the raspberry from insect bites. And there's also a second uh, function, and that is, is that uh, those trichomes, they secrete a waxy, um, some waxy substance, um, and this actually pr also uh, prevents uh, the loss of water from the raspberry. So the raspberry um, essentially protects itself from being dried out this way, um, because those uh, trichomes also also serve as a form of uh, water loss protection. So you see, um, quite fascinating. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, luckily no worms here. And uh, this again shows how microscopy can help us um, understand uh, the environment a little bit better. I hope that you liked the video. I would like to, of course, invite you to subscribe to the channel. I would also like to advertise um, my microscopy Amazon affiliate shop. Um, there is a link um, um, here. Um, yeah, if you're interested in microscopes and microscopy as well, have a visit and have a look at uh, the products that I put together in, in this affiliate shop um, as well. Uh, but for now, I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.